Hey guys, Wade here. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the domain buying process for unstoppable domains. A couple of days ago, I did a video explaining to you five reasons why you need one. Funny story about that. I went on their blog, some of their blog postings, and funnily enough, there is a blog article with those exact same reasons that I gave you in the video. I just found that to be funny, little interesting tidbit, but let's just get right into the process, guys. Smash that like button for me so more people can learn this, and let's get straight to it. Now, I took about an hour or so figuring out which domain I wanted to create again, <laughs> and, you know, courtesy of you guys for signing up of the from the last video, we have a few credits that we can use for our demonstration. So again, shout out to you guys. Thank you so much, members of the esteemed network. That is why this domain is going to be dedicated to you guys. So what we have here, it's a simple search engine process. You type in the term or, you know, whatever name you wish to use for your unstoppable domain. Keep it all one word, like we like I have it written here for Digital Hustle Network. And then you'll have a list of options that will appear. The premium domains would be the .x, of course. And then they have a list of suggested names. Okay, now we a question was proposed from the last video asking about the .x and certain other uh, domain addresses, right? Well, when I did some digging, essentially, the dot X is looked at as a more rarer, more premier version of a domain name because dot X can be, it's more applicable from a readability standpoint to more names and phrases that you want to create domains for. Okay. So that's why they classify the dot X for that. But for the sake of this demonstration, I think I'm going to go with the Dow option. Yeah. So for this demonstration, we're going to go with the Digit Hustle Network dot DAO. Figured that was interesting, guys. But yeah, it's real simple here. You just click add to cart, much like a simple purchase, and go to, over to continue. And then this is what the next screen will show here. Just basically giving you a review of the DAO that you are chosen, that you have chosen. And then, of course, like I mentioned too, thanks to you guys, we have a few credits in order to make this demonstration occur. Now they will uh, ask you a little bit of information. It never really goes past, do you live in the USA? And then what's the zip code? Then we just go to check out here and pay with store credit or promo credit. Now, because we're using the store credit, it's going to end up like, it's. this is the screen that we're getting now. But if you go, through Stripe or to use your credit or debit card, the process will be a little different. But if you've made credit or debit card purchases before, it's not really no different than that, especially if you've used your credit or debit card to purchase crypto in the past. But seeing to the fact that we have these store credits, guys, this is the screen that we're getting. And another thing too, once you sign up for your own Unstoppable Domains account, you can also share that, share your own personal link with other people too. And that way you can start to accumulate some credits of your own guys. So we just go ahead, click the pay with store credit promo credit button. And then it tells us, of course, we get our thank you message. And then there's a reminder of the get 10, give 10, get 10. So the $10 off that I give to you guys, you can then share that with other people and so forth and so on guys. But what we do here is go to my domains. Once you purchase your NFT and you go back to your domains, it's going to say it's not minted. So what does that mean? Well, the buying process and the minting process are separate, guys, and we're going to get a little explainer about that. But the minting is the process of registering the domain onto the blockchain via your crypto wallet to gain full custody of the domain. That's another a strong advantage to Unstoppable compared to other domain name register services. This one gives you actual ownership of the domain name based off of the, you know, because of the fact that you get access to a wallet, your private keys, like all of this stuff is registered to you. 
So that's another benefit. But yeah, this means that nobody else has control over it except the rightful owner. This is what makes them decentralized and ultimately unstoppable. That was a quick explainer of what the minting process is, guys. Now let's actually go and mint one. Now, you right away get the option to mint your domain on Polygon. This is the free option here, guys. Polygon blockchain fees are covered by Unstoppable, delivering a cost-free user experience. Uh, not all apps currently support these Polygon names, but they will be updating that list as we continue, guys. Go to the minting process, guys. Here's the first page. You would choose the wallet that you wish to mint it to. Now, you can mint this domain to exterior wallets, but it would be easier to just use the wallet that domain, Unstoppable Domains provide you with. Then, of course, they show you your wallet address to verify that it is yours. And then pay attention to this small text here down at the bottom. So once you press this button, guys, there's no going back and it's, it becomes your domain forever. So basically you click understand and then you're gonna need to enter the code from your Google Authenticator app. I need to do a video about the Google Authenticator app because it's a very, very powerful tool. Everybody is using it throughout the crypto ecosystem and not too many people talk about it. So give me one moment, I'm gonna pull mine out and then we're gonna to move to the next step. Hey guys, so I've just used my Google Authenticator code. It's a six digit time sensitive, basically passcode that you can use, uh, that you use to secure your transaction and the minting process has started. It's really simple, guys. This is really easy. Um, these are NFTs, essentially, and this is the easiest NFT minting process I've ever experienced. But after that, to track the status of the newly minted domain, you will go to this transaction screen. Uh, I think we covered this a little bit in a previous video, but yeah, it brings you to this transaction screen. It usually does not take more than about 20 minutes, maximum, <laughs> okay? Like, I'm pretty sure that by the time, if I refresh this or go back to my original domains, you know, once or twice, it'll kick in. But yeah, like I said, maximum 20 minutes, you come back to the website and you'll have your brand new domain in which you can then manage much like the rest of them, guys. And then just to show you how that, what that looks like really quick again, if you didn't get a chance to catch the last video, uh, I'm going to show you, this is where you get exposed to all of the many features from your new NFT, guys. So you can upload an avatar or an actual NFT to be your profile here. And then it allows you to uh, add a description to your domain name for, you know, SEO purposes, if people want to search you online. And then every domain address is a crypto wallet. And how this works is that once you set up your domain, you can then input the address is here to your other wallets and exchanges. So when people send crypto to your domain address, it will go to those exchanges. It's so Web3, guys. Beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Really surprised that more people aren't talking about this on YouTube. But this is something else that we covered in the other video, guys. But very soon, you will be able to launch a full service blog site through your domain. And that's what I'm really really excited for myself. But if you already have a website, you do also have the option to link your new domain to your existing website. So that's another plus, guys. And then this one is something that I have been more recently looking into, okay? We can sell these. You know, if you can buy something, man, nine times out of 10, you can also sell it. And the selling of domain names. Now, of course, I don't wish to sell any of these, but the selling of domain names could be just as lucrative as selling some NFTs, guys, depending on how you do it. And I'm going to spend a little bit more time figuring out some strategies to really see if that's a market, all right? Because .com names were booming, okay, for according to my understanding. So, Curious to see if we'll have the same effect with these uh, crypto domains. But let's go back and see what our transaction status is, guys. Let's see. Okay, those were the previous ones. And it's still pending. So still, though, I guarantee you, by the time we 
like I said, 20 minutes max, guys, is usually how long this takes. But in essence, that is the process. Very simple, very easy. Just simply type in the name or the phrase you want to use. Pick your dot address, <laughs> you know, dot crypto, dot X, DAO, whatever to your liking, and then let the blockchain do the rest. All right. Now, remember, these domains are permanent. All right. There are no renewal fees, but at the same time, these domains are permanent. So you want to be very selective and very careful with the domains that you buy and use. All right. So if you find value in this content, guys, you know what to do. Make sure you hit that like button and of course, subscribe. So that way you don't miss the next one. I'm going to try to cover as much as I can about crypto domains, guys. I feel like it's an underserved market. And while we're here, <laughs> Let me direct you to the first video I did about Unstoppable Domains, explaining five reasons why you need to enter this market right now. So with all that being said, guys, I want you to have a great day. Have a prosperous day. Most importantly, if that money is digital, so is the hustle. I'll see y'all in the next one.